Good morning, Life Mission Church. It's time for your Daybreak Devo. And today I just want to share with you one of my favorite passages of scripture ever. I think it's relevant for anything that's going on in our world right now, and I mean anything. So it's, it's Isaiah 61, 1 through 3. It says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant those who mourn in Zion, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a spirit of fainting, so that they will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Uh, that, that scripture has meant so much to us over the years. And the reason why it means so much to us is because it is, it is the passage of scripture that Jesus read from on the day that he um, began his ministry here on earth. And so in Luke chapter 4, um, it talks about how Jesus went to the synagogue and um, he got up to read scripture in church and he read... He quoted this passage from Isaiah and so this this is what Jesus came to do and what's interesting is um, people knew they were waiting for Messiah and so he, he said he reads this passage and it says in verse 18 of chapter 4 the Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free from those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord. And then it says, and he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down, and the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Um, so when we look at mission, uh, that was Jesus' mission. He came to preach the gospel and the gospel is the good news um, I came to restore the kingdom I came to um, uh, restore everything that was lost in Eden I've come to um, bind up the brokenhearted and set the captive free um, and recovery of sight to the blind um, it, it's interesting because even John the Baptist later when he was when he was in jail and he was like, um, did I get this right? He sent, he sent his, his followers to Jesus to say, hey, are you the one? And Jesus said, tell him. And he says, you saw these things. You saw, you saw the death here. You saw this sight return. Like he's saying, yes, I've, I've been doing all these things. So I've been thinking about um, Jesus' mission and then what our mission is. And, you know, we think about recovery of sight for the blind. We're setting the captives free. I just want to say, what is holding this world and the reason why we see the cruelty and the injustice and the um, uh, all of that is because of of this world is caught in the grip of sin. Um, and Jesus came to set us free from the power of sin and death. And so I just think um, as we're dealing with our the events in our culture, and even as we're dealing with personal heartbreak and trauma and all of the things life life just hasn't stopped because of COVID-19 or because of our cultural issues when we look at our whole life we need to understand that Jesus came to bind up the brokenhearted and to set the captive free and as believers he has set us free from the law of sin and death sin does not hold us and so when we uh, when we look at a world racked with sin with injustice, with cruelty, with indifference, um, that should show us how to pray. We need to pray for the gospel to run the streets. And, and chances are, how, how God's gonna do that is with us. And so that's our mission, is, is we go and we love, we preach the gospel, we take stands, and we listen, and we, all of those things. But I'm just, I'm encouraged today in the midst of things that could be potentially very discouraging to know that 
Jesus is in control. He's still King Jesus. And he still has a mission, and it's just like he said, and he has been anointed to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind um, and to set free those who are oppressed. And that's spiritually, that's spiritually. So um, as you're working through your life, as you're processing what you're seeing, I just want to encourage you to stay in the word, to stay in communication with Jesus. And ask him to show you what it looks like for you to be an active part of spreading the gospel, an active part of proclaiming liberty to the captives and recovery of spiritual sight to the blind because people don't know what they don't know. And so um, I just want to pray for you. I just want to say uh, Jesus has a plan. He does. He does have a plan and it's good. And so uh, let's participate in that plan. So let me pray for you and I'll send you on about your day. Lord, I thank you that in the midst of a crazy world that you have a plan. None of this caught you by surprise. And I thank you that from the moment that you started your ministry, you announced what you were doing. And I thank you, Lord, that you have come to set us free from the law of sin and death. You have came to restore, open up our spiritual eyes so that we could see you, believe you, and put our faith in you. I, I thank you, Lord, that that you are a just God and you stand for justice. And I thank you that you are God that brings justice. And so, Lord, um, we, we follow you today. We love you today. We're going to keep our eyes on you today because if we don't keep our eyes on you today, it'll be full of discouragement. Um, and so, Lord, we just, we love you. We need you. Um, bless my friends today, Lord. Help them to be um, a light in the dark world and help them to point to you in everything they say, do, and think. In your name I pray, Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.